plastics. In today's society, almost everyone is reliant on plastic. For more than 50 years, global plastic production has continued to rise dramatically. With the market driven by consumerism and convenience of plastic, along with the comparatively low price of production, demand for plastic is growing. We don't need to be reminded that plastic is bad, because we all know that. But what you don't know is that every time you eat fish, you could be eating plastic. So why should you care? Yeah, you. Every day you are producing five pounds of trash. The average person in the San Diego County makes 1,825 pounds of trash yearly. And the majority of this litter is plastic. It is estimated that more than 4.9 million tons of plastic are dumped into the ocean every year. Scientists believe that there is as much as 12 million tons of plastic in the ocean today. These plastics are reduced into synthetic plastics or microplastics. Microplastics are very small and allow organisms to eat them. One of the most severe issues of plastic consumption through marine organisms is biomagnification. Yeah, so biomagnification um, can affect us in relation to a couple of different types of pollutants, but with plastics in, in particular. Um, so these plastics can be consumed at the very bottom level of the food chain, at the plankton level. So even some of these plastics are so tiny that we're seeing filter feeders like zooplankton eating these tiny bits of plastic. Then the next up the food chain is, are going to eat these plankton. Um, that have a little bit of plastic in them, let's say. So they're going to have to eat quite a bit of plankton to be able to survive. So they might have even more plastic in them. And so as we go up the food chain, we often see higher concentrations of these different pollutants. So sometimes if we're eating top predator fish, uh, we can see some high levels of these pollutants in them. This eventually affects us. When we buy fish from the supermarket, that fish has a chance to have toxins from the microplastics in the tissue of the fish which can potentially get passed on to us. We need to take action to reduce the use of plastic. It is affecting us, the wildlife, and most importantly, the world itself. It is time to take action to clean up for our mistakes. One of the most effective methods to stop plastic pollution in the oceans is making sure the plastic doesn't reach the water in the first place. A potential international solution could be holding plastic producers accountable. Plastic producers should find innovative ways to develop more eco-friendly packaging. If San Diego bans plastic bags, it would join the other 138 Californian communities including Encinitas and Solana Beach. Something that you can do at home to help is cutting out the use of disposable plastics out of your daily life. Just by taking your own bag when you shop, or purchasing items with recycled materials can greatly reduce the chances of plastic ending up in the ocean. Imagine the world if everyone set a specific goal to reduce or eliminate the amount of plastics they use on a daily basis.